Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, I'm going to try out some survival skills, which I have very little of, but you need to learn and start from somewhere, so I'm trying. I went to the bookstore yesterday, and I picked up yet another survival guide. I have a lot of them, but I was looking for something that was much easier to read, especially in little bits, so I could sort of accumulate some knowledge. And one that I came across that I really like is How to Survive Anything Anywhere. And this book is written by Chris McNabb, and I thought it was really um, a pretty good book. Now, I just lost my page, but I want to go ahead and find, here we go, the water still. And here is a picture of it. Let me see if I can get that in there. And basically what you're supposed to do is dig a, a big hole in the ground and cover it with a plastic sheet a clear plastic sheet and then you want to seal it really good around the edges uh, the trick of these things is you know you want to make it as big as you can seal them up really good so no air can leak in or out and um, you put a can in the bottom and then you weigh the middle of that plastic down so the condensation will come down to the lowest point and then drip into a cup that you put in the bottom so, I'm going to go ahead and just make a small one, just a little experiment with just some saran wrap. None of this is ideal, but I just wanted to see if it works. Also, um, <clears throat> in the book it says that you're supposed to run it for 24 hours, basically. You want to get it out in the sun, or dig the hole, and it should be in the sun, and it heats up everything, and then at night, everything cools off, and that cycle, you need that full cycle to get um, as much water um, as you can. So I'm going to just run it for five hours. I'm going to start it in the late late morning and finish it off in the afternoon so I'll get a little bit of shade. So I'll get through a, a part, so, partial cycle. So I'll, I'll see a little bit of water but really that's it. But I just want to see if I can make any water at all and if I drink it will I die? <laughs> so here we go. So I have a big hole here dug. I'm going to go ahead and put this cup down here. And we'll go ahead and cover it with cellophane. I'm rushing because I don't want the dirt's uh, moisture here to um, evaporate. So when you dig this hole, you really want to get this covered quickly. And this is the cling stuff, which is not ideal. This is not ideal at all. You really need a, a good large piece. This is, I can tell you right now, this is not going to work out well. Alright. This is going to suck, as a matter of fact. I'm not doing very good here at all. Alright. Because this is not going to be sealed up very good. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this covered, and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, this is not exactly ideal. Again, it's too small. It would have been better to have one small piece of saran wrap or pl clear plastic, but, you know, this is just a quick test. Now, what you want to do is you want to make the lowest point on the plastic over the rock. I mean, <laughs> you want to make the uh, lowest point of plastic over the cup and you want to use a rock. So I'm going to go ahead and place this over the cup so when the water condensates it'll drip down to the lowest point and then hopefully drip in the cup. So there we go. I'm going to give you a top view of this so you can see that the rock is over the cup see so we'll back away I'll give you a, a, a look at the whole thing and we'll be back in uh, 
the evening and see if we have collected any water whatsoever in our solar still. Okay, it's been about five or six hours, and I'm going to go ahead and let you take a look at um, what's happened. As you can see, there is a, a lot of condensation, so we'll go ahead and take a peek and see if we have any water in the cup. <laughs> and there we are. There's about uh, maybe an ounce of water in there. And uh, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I see a couple of floaters in there. Um, but we'll see. It has a slight saran wrap taste. And uh, if I am puking a little bit later... <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, let you know. So, you know, basically, you know, something the size of this will, you know, and again, it wasn't in the sun for all day. It, I would say it maybe got about three hours of sun and it got about an ounce of water. So, you know, just a, a quick improvised, just saran wrap will get you an ounce of water. Obviously, not enough to survive off of for any length of time so you have to make something really big you know a couple of feet long and you need a really large piece of clear plastic and I, I don't want to dig a giant hole in my uh, yard my wife ain't gonna appreciate that this happens to be uh, a hole that a plant's gonna go in so it sort of works out um, in that book there's some other ways of making water that I found pretty interesting. If you live by a large salt water supply, such as the ocean, you can put that water in um, something metal, big, like a pot, and boil it over a fire if you don't have electricity or anything like that. And you put a piece of cloth over it and sort of tie it on there tight and the steam out of that uh, salt water will um, collect in the cloth and then you could squeeze that out and drink it because that, that sort of will purify it uh, get the f take the salt out of the salt water basically so um, that that's an idea uh, and a possible way for you to get water if you live by the ocean so this has just been a quick experiment I just wanted to see uh, what I could produce with this small hole since I already had a hole here with some plastic and try what's in that survival guide for myself because you know you gotta start somewhere and you gotta start learning and you gotta try and trial by error kind of stuff so I know that I gotta find the sunniest spot and I gotta make a bigger hole and I need a big clear piece of plastic to uh, get enough to actually survive on so Again, thank you very much for stopping by here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really do appreciate every viewer and subscriber and friend. Have a great evening.